Can Ryobi Swift Clean clean up your messes? Let's find out. This is the Ryobi Swift Clean, and specifically, it's the model number PCL756, powered by their 18 volt battery. And it's their Swift Clean Spot Cleaner, and it houses uh, the chemical or the agent that you need to spray down, as well as it's a vacuum on board, as well as it's an agitator, so it does all those things. Let's take a closer look at this, see each one of the features, then we'll use it, come back, talk about pricing, warranty, and what we think of it. This is the Ryobi PCL 756, and it's their Swift Clean Spot Cleaner. Now, the idea here is that you kind of get an all-in-one, uh, basically, uh, where you put the solution in, you can spray the solution. Uh, it has a vacuum on board that's going to uh, provide suction, as well as an agitator brush that's going to agitate and then pull that solution with the vacuum and put it in this container here. So, pretty cool that it's kind of all-in-one. You get three buttons up here. Uh, you can power the vacuum on, you can uh, basically power the beater bar, and then you can also uh, provide this spray there with uh, all from the battery. So we can obviously put a battery in here and make everything work, and we'll do that here in one moment. Now everything kind of detaches as well, so the container on the bottom comes off very easily, just uh, flipping a switch right there, and then that comes loose, and this is what's going to catch all those contaminants or that contaminated water or contaminated solution. This opens up, you can dump it out, Then obviously just slides back into place. The front comes off as well if you need to clean that, put it in your dishwasher or whatever to uh, get that clean. I don't know any other reason why you would need to pull that off other than to clean it. And uh, then the solution tank here just kind of lifts up out of place. There's just a slide here. I can't find a button or anything, so I'm assuming it's kind of beveled on both sides so it just kind of moves out of the way and locks it in when you put it back down and so here's your little container that you get this bottle of oxy cleaning formula so i'm sure it's a, an oxygen um, dioxide type of derivative um, so that, like oxy clean or something like that so it's probably going to foam very well anyway you take the lid off right here which you can see an o-ring on here that seals you put your solution in there and then you put your lid back on and put it on the extractor or on the Swift Clean and then go to town. Just gonna snap that back into place. So we'll go ahead and use this. Uh, we'll take a four amp hour battery and uh, slam it on here and let's just go through real quick. Um, okay, there's the sprayer and it looks like the sprayer is right here on the front. Okay. So there's your agitator brush, and then the power button. Okay, the power button activates the vacuum, and so now it's pulling vacuum up, up here through the front. Now I did want to point something else out. Uh, this agitator brush, I'm sure it'll get messy, probably get dirty, get hair all in it, and you can easily, with a screwdriver or a quarter or whatever, give that a quarter turn and it'll pull right out and you can clean all that up and put it back in and now you're good to go. Lock that back into place. So nice that you can remove that beater bar or that agitator brush, whatever you want to call that. Now this thing is not heavy, not that heavy anyway. We'll go ahead and get a weight on it with that four amp hour battery six pounds six ounces so not even uh six and a half pounds so a little over six pounds so it's not exactly heavy but it is a bit bulky i don't know that you're going to be doing a lot inside of cars at least like in the floorboards now maybe in the rear cargo section of an suv um, but you can see here i mean you're 20 inches long with the battery on there and about nine inches tall and then the width of it as well you're five and a half inches wide at least. So it's not a tiny tool that you're gonna be able to get in a lot of crevices or things like that. But again, doing your big spot cleaning, this might be a great solution for this because it's kind of all in one. So let's try this out and see. Now, many times when we're testing tools like impact wrenches and drills and impact drivers and things like that, we use them quite a bit before we just go off and do a review on them. This one is fresh out of the box. We literally have not used this. Uh, and we've got a pretty used 
pretty used floor mat here. You can see this is a driver's side floor mat. Here's the, the heel where uh, the accelerator pedal's right here, so you see where the heel sits and you know, mats that down pretty good. Uh, so again, this is not a brand new floor mat by any means, and it's not that well taken care of either. I, I know that because it's, it's one of mine. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm gonna do a fair test here. So I'm gonna take, say, half of this side and half of this side, and I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and pre-vacuum um, because let's face it, before we spot clean, typically we're probably vacuuming, but I am going to leave half of each side because uh, I think this is a little bit more matted down than this side. So I'll go ahead and split halves on both of these, vacuum half of them and leave both of them kind of raw as is, and then we'll spot clean all of it and see if it makes a difference and see how well it does. So you can see there, I didn't do a ton of work. In fact, I don't think I made much of a difference at all, but I did give it a few sweeps with the vacuum. So this side's vacuum, that side's vacuum, and then the middle part is not touched at all. So we'll go ahead and hit this whole area uh, with the spot cleaner. So we're going to take our tank off, take this lid off. Oh. I guess it won't hold the whole thing. I'm gonna make a mess, I'm sure. That's kind of a pain that that really won't sit up, but anyway, I guess there's no need for it to sit up. I think that's on there. Okay, so that should be our sprayer. Should spray right out of here. Okay, so you hold it down got to hold it down the spray. Okay, I think I got a good amount on there. Now we're going to use the brush to agitate. Now I will tell you, typically using an extractor, especially like uh, detailers would use, typically the jet is spraying kind of in front of uh, the agitator and or definitely the vacuum because then the vacuum picks up the, the last of it. You kind of spray as you go. This, it looks like you're going to have to treat with the spray and then come back and vacuum it and or agitate and vacuum. So now I'm just going to hit the agitator and agitate it a little bit. The agitator doesn't seem too happy for me to really be working it hard. Um, and it really doesn't stick down too far below the bottom there. So I can't really get deep. Like right here, it's almost missing the carpet. Right here, you see where it's, where it's not even hitting. And even here as well. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and try to pull that out. Okay, I don't think I'm pulling out much solution at all, so I'm going to come back and try to soak this down a little more. Maybe I don't have enough solution in here. I've used about that entire bottle. So I would think that's plenty. Let me turn the vacuum on with the extractor.
So you can see it's definitely getting some junk out of here. But it's working pretty hard to do it. Not so sure if not just taking a spot cleaner and taking a hand brush or a brush on your drill. Still tons of dirt in there, that's for sure. Well, to be honest with this one, it's a bit lackluster as far as performance goes. Did it lift some junk out of the carpet? Yes, and I know that floor mat was pretty nasty, um, and really a vacuum did a lot of work on it. Uh, but, you know, it, again, it did pull. This has been sitting a while now, but it, it did pull some junk out of there. But what really blew me away is how much product it used up. I used up almost that a complete bottle on that real small section. However, it is meant to be a spot cleaner. It's not meant to clean your whole vehicle or to clean your whole rug or house or whatever. So, you know, if you had a dog accident or if you spilled a small Coke or something like that and needed to lift that stain out, it'll probably work pretty good. Um, and it's pretty cool that kind of everything's contained. However, the vacuum's not that well of a vacuum. The agitator's not that well of an agitator. Um, and the sprayer puts down a lot of product. And the fact that, you know, the sprayer is pretty atypical in the fact that typically the sprayer is behind the agitator and or the vacuum so that you're spraying it down and then lifting it up behind it. But again, I, I get it. You, you've got to do something here and you've got to contain everything in, in one unit. So to be a handheld unit, uh, again, it's not that small either. Um, it's 120 bucks for the bare tool. So without the battery, you're looking at $120 and then you need to add your 18 volt one plus battery. Now you can buy it with a two amp hour battery and a charge and I think it's a buck fifty, hundred and fifty dollars and it comes with a three year warranty. Now I don't want to just scoff at this. I think it could be a good product for those small areas that you're needing to lift that stain out pretty quickly. I don't think it's going to be a workhorse like a detailer would want or somebody that's just an avid car guy that's wanting to clean all the carpets, things like that. I think you're going to waste a lot of product and the vacuum is going to be a bit lackluster. But for a unit that you want to just put away and store away and have it kind of all inclusive as you need to get to it, it might work out well for you. So check it out. It's the PCL 756. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even TikTok. And if you haven't done so already, would you hit that subscribe button? And by the way, if you hated our video, then hit the thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day. Keep smiling.